your mark. Get set. Go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that phrase that will live on in the mind of kids forever. Yeah, it's how all the challenges began on Nickelodeon's Double Dare, the game show that inspired the competitive spirit of a generation. And this is a big day because we have the host who was there on day one here with us now, the one and only Mark Summers. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. Thank you. October so 6, 1986 is when we launched that show. Yeah. And that looks like my son when I look at that video. It's frightening. <laughs> you know? Isn't that crazy? I mean, I, looking back at when we first started, well, David came here when he was 13, so <laughs> not he was quite, a child. Not quite. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> well, I was 34 when I, I'm 72 now. No. And it's so odd to look at that because it just it flew by it's like know? in a blink of an eye oh my gosh you know i was listening to an interview you did where you talked about the audition for oh, double dare yeah and like how it was between you and this other guy yes and how you nailed it could you share that yeah i tell you what happened uh they auditioned 2,000 people first a thousand new york thousand in los angeles and it came down to me and this other guy and uh they couldn't figure out what to do because we had never worked with kids they had adults playing the part of kids so i suggested that they fly us to new york put us in a studio with kids so they did that and they called me uh, two days later and I said after auditioning 2000 people, why did I get it? And they said, you both were about the same, but at the end of his audition, he said, uh, am I done or do you want me to do something else? And I said, we'll be back with more Double Dare after this. I threw the commercial. They thought that was more professional yeah. and changed my life. And that was it right was, there. Yeah, you never also, know. Also, you know, we see all of these like news anchors and people on TV wearing sneakers with their suits. You were like the original <laughs> sneaker dress I, I suit guy, that. right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> it's unbelievable how that whole thing, you know, changed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get tired of people wanting to talk about Double Dare in particular? Yeah. You've done so many different things. David, I'm glad anybody remembers anything I've, I've ever done. <laughs> oh, so, okay. wow. you know, I was at Nick from 86 to 94, but I was at Food Network for 20 years. Right, yes. I started off doing a show called It's a Surprise, which was a show about surprise parties. The surprise was nobody was watching. And <laughs> <Okay>. so <laughs> that went away. But then I got this little show called Unwrapped. Which yes. yes. We were the number one show. Everybody thought Emerald was the number one show. We were beating Emerald all the time. Yeah. And uh, that thing to this day if you go to discovery plus uh we we uh, trend every every day every night people just keep watching those shows i love that show I did because too. it taught you about all right. the origins exactly. of all these different foods 100%. it was fascinating it's been a fun career and then i exec produced dinner impossible and restaurant impossible and so i've had an interesting career and i just did a 16 week one man show off broadway in new york and so I've gotten to dabble and play and just, you know, I've never worked a day in my life. I've just had fun. That's amazing. Yeah. What was the most um, fun, messy game that you guys played on Double Dare? Is there one thing that you remember that was like, wow, that, that one was pretty bad? There was one called, <laughs> if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. Okay. And what it was was <laughs> we used it on Family Double Dare, and it was a mom and dad and two kids, and they had to take these... Uh, foam rubber things of cake and build them up and if they got 16 of them then they had to uh they, then they were free they won but if they didn't uh we pulled this thing and all this icing i mean a boatload of icing covered these people from head to toe How did oh wow clean up? well and when we started in philadelphia it was it took forever yeah but when we moved to orlando they built drains <laughs> into the stage oh so, so these smart. guys would come with these gigantic you know sort of moppy things right and squeegees and in 60 seconds it was done that's the way to do it oh, when you yeah. have a show like that. It was amazing. You know, I know you've been to Pittsburgh before because I've interviewed you before when you were working behind the scenes when it was the restaurant Impossible. Restaurant That's what you said. And yeah. you were in Bloomfield yes. taking over oh a restaurant. Oh my gosh, yeah. I remember that episode. Sadly, they're closed. But yes, we did. Listen, the historic aspect of KDKA as a broadcaster, it's always cool to be here. But the very first personal appearance we ever did for Nickelodeon was right here in Pittsburgh. Get out. I had no idea what the heck I was even doing. And they took us to some outside sort of arena thing and we played double dare with uh, real life humans for the first time that was done here in Pittsburgh wow. in, uh, like 1988 oh you know, if we could only find that video oh my gosh that'd be right? great. that would be amazing you know I think what people don't understand too is we say this all the time about this show even is that to be creative takes a lot of work I mean you guys probably put in a lot of hours trying to think of uh, if I knew you were coming I yes. should have baked a cake <laughs> yes like, that takes a lot of energy well, to we would shoot five stuff. shows a day sometimes six get there at eight in the morning and get done at six and then we would work on physical challenges till nine o'clock that night yeah. so it just never ended it and never ended. I'm glad people appreciate the hard work that goes behind doing all these shows yeah. you know what even with all that work you could tell how much fun you oh, were yeah. having that's right. and that's why the I audience got a check at the end of the week for yeah. doing that <laughs>
<laughs> we think that too. We're like, how do we? How is this a yeah. job? Yeah. Don't you say that out loud. Our they, bosses could be watching. They feed us. They, <laughs> they never give watch. us alcohol all week long, and they, we're still on the air. It's amazing. Well, it's true. All right, don't go anywhere, Mark, because we cannot let you go without playing a game with us. What do you say? Let's do it. All Let's right. Take the physical challenge. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> don't have drains on the floor here. But up next, Mark Summers is going to challenge us to a little double dare knowledge. Could there be slime? Hopefully not. But we're going to find out when PTL comes back.